Peter William Pieper Slithwaite, OBE was an English actor. After minor television appearances, including in The Professionals, his first success came with the 1988 film Distant Voices, Still Lives. He played a mysterious lawyer, Mr. Kobayashi, in The Usual Suspects, and appeared in Alien 3, Amistad, Brassed Off, The Shipping News, The Constant Gardener, The Age of Stupid, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, Romeo Plus Juliet, and Inception. In television, Paslithwaite played Sergeant Obadiah Hackerswell on Sharp. He trained as a teacher and taught drama before training as an actor. Director Steven Spielberg called him the best actor in the world after working with him on The Lost World, Jurassic Park. He received an Academy Award nomination for his role in In the Name of the Father in 1993, and was made an Officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2004 New Year Honours list. Early life, Paslithwaite was born in Warrington, Lancashire, the fourth and youngest child of William and Mary Paslithwaite, working-class Roman Catholics. He had two sisters, Anne and Patricia, and a brother, Michael. He trained as a teacher at St. Mary's College, Strawberry Hill and taught drama at Laura II College, Manchester, before training as an actor at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School. Despite portraying Irish characters on multiple occasions, Paslithwaite was not of Irish descent. Career Early in his career, Paslithwaite was advised to adopt a new surname for his acting work by his first agent and by peers who quipped that his would never be put up in lights outside theatres because they couldn't afford the electricity. Paslithwaite rejected the advice. He initially trained to be a Catholic priest but opted for a career in theatre and started his career at the Everyman Theatre in Liverpool, where his colleagues included Bill Nagy, Jonathan Price, Anthony Shaw, and Julie Walters. Paslithwaite and Walters had an intimate relationship during the latter half of the 1970s. He was a veteran of the Royal Shakespeare Company and other acting companies. On January 13, 1981, he took the leading role in a BBC TV black comedy by Alan Bleasdale, The Muscle Market, which was a spin-off from Boys from the Black Staff. It was part of the Play for Today series. After other early appearances in small parts for television programs such as The Professionals, Paslithwaite's first film success came with the film Distant Voices, Still Lives in 1988. He received an Academy Award nomination for his role in In the Name of the Father in 1993. He is well known for his role as mysterious lawyer Mr. Kobayashi in The Usual Suspects. He made appearances in several successful films, including Alien 3, Amistad, Brassed Off, The Shipping News, The Constant Gardener, Inception, and as Fire Lawrence in Baz Luhrmann's Romeo Plus Juliet. In 2003, he was both the physical and vocal actor for the villain Dethan Ziggs, Level 1, a Canadian TV series created by IDT Entertainment. Later that same year, he toured Australia and New Zealand in a 90-minute one-man play, Scaramouche Jones, in which he played a clown trying to find out why he is who he is before he dies at midnight, receiving a nomination for the TMA Award for Best Actor and winning the Theatre Goers' Choice Award for Best Solo Performance. This was directed by Rupert Jewell, who would also direct his Lear in 2008, in which Paslithwaite played every character. As well as Australia, the play toured Canada, New Zealand and the UK to great acclaim. In The Art of Disc World, Terry Pratchett wrote that he had always imagined Sam Bims as a younger, slightly bulkier version of Pete Paslithwaite. Steven Spielberg called Paslithwaite the best actor in the world after working with him on The Lost World, Jurassic Park, to which Paslithwaite quipped, I'm sure what Spielberg actually said was, the thing about Pete is that he thinks he's the best actor in the world. One of his more notable roles was Sergeant Obadiah Hackerswell in ITV's Sharp series. The actor said this was one of his favorite roles and that he and fellow actor Sean Bean played well off each other because of their mutual love and respect. Bernard Cornwell, the author and creator of the Sharp series, specifically wrote Hackerswell's character in later novels to reflect Paslithwaite's performance as the character in the TV series. Paslithwaite co-starred with Bin in When Saturday Comes. Paslithwaite next starred in a Liverpool stage production of King Lear in 2008 at the Everyman Theatre, Liverpool, and at the Young Vic, London. He appeared in the climate change-themed film The Age of Stupid, 
premiered in March 2009. Having recently installed a wind turbine in his garden, he said was extremely impressed by the film and made an impassioned call for action on climate change on its release in the Sun newspaper. The stakes of climate of change are very, very high. They're through the roof. How could we willingly know that we're going into extinction? And let it happen. Terminally ill, Puslithwaite had a minor role in the 2010 blockbuster hit Inception, playing an industrialist who was similarly dying. That same year, his performance in The Town is Florist and crime boss Fergus Fergie Combe was well received by critics. Puslithwaite's last appearance on screen was in Nick Ham's film Killing Bono, based on the memoir of Neil McCormick. The role was written specially for Puslithwaite to accommodate his illness. The film was released on April 1, 2011. His final role was due to be in the BBC series Exile, written by Danny Brocklehurst and Paul Abbott, but he had to pull out because of ill health. Jim Broadbent replaced him in the role. Awards Puslithwaite was made an Officer of the Order of the British Empire in the 2004 New Year Honours List and received an honorary degree from Liverpool University in 2006. He received an Academy Award nomination for his role in The Name of the Father. Personal life, Puslithwaite lived in West Itchiner, West Sussex before moving near Bishop's Castle, Shropshire. He lived with his wife, Jacqueline Morrish Puslithwaite, a former BBC producer, with whom he began a relationship in 1987 and later married in 2003 in Chichester. He was diagnosed with testicular cancer in 1990, and had one testicle removed. Puslithwaite was a smoker from the age of 10. In a March 2009 interview with Scotland on Sunday, the actor referred to his smoking habit, stating, We've got to hope the next generation will do things differently. I'm sure that in 20 years' time the kids will say, Can you believe that people actually used to smoke a euro put these funny little things in their mouths, lit them and sucked all that crap into their lungs? Puslithwaite appeared as a taxi driver in one of the Labour Party's political broadcasts during the 1997 general election. He marched in London against the Iraq War in 2003. He was an activist calling for action to prevent climate change. At the UK premiere of The Age of Stupid on November 16, 2009, he told then Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change Ed Miliband that he would return his OBE and vote for any party other than Labour if the King's North coal-fired power station was given the go-ahead by the government. The proposal to build a new power station at King's North was shelved by the coalition government in October 2010. Illness and death In March 2009, Puslithwaite was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer from which he died at the Royal Shrewsbury Hospital on January 2, 2011. He left behind two children, William John, a drama student at LAMDA, and Lily Kathleen. Puslithwaite continued acting almost to the end of 2010, showing clear signs of weight loss during his last performances. In his last two years, he worked on his memoir A Spectacle of Dust with Andy Richardson. It was published June 1, 2011. Filmography, Film, Television, References External links, Pete Puslithwaite at the Internet Movie Database, Pete Puslithwaite at the TCM Movie Database, Pete Puslithwaite at All Movie, Daily Telegraph Obituary, Pete Puslithwaite at Find a Grave.